Well, I opened Fordham Jewelers in 1985, which uh, gives us about 29 years, almost 30 years in business. And that was after working 15 years in the jewelry business with a, uh, another uh, chain company you know, where I learned the business. Uh, basically, we're retiring, calling it quits, going into Sunshine State. Well, choosing Bobby Wilkinson, that's very interesting. I had a lot of conversations about this over the last two or three years when we started thinking about it. I talked to several other jewelers. Uh, I talked to several other companies that, you know, there's a lot of companies out there that specialize in it. But Bobby Wilkinson's name kept coming up. They are the people who, this is what they do, they don't do anything else. Uh, they're the pros at it and I felt like, well, we're going to get one chance. I need to do it right. And so we wanted the best and uh, so we went with Bobby Wilkinson. Well, the positive things about the sale is uh, the, it's organized. The people that brought in knew what they were doing. They had a plan. Uh, and it works. That's, I mean, that's the bottom line. It works. So uh, we were we were real pleased about that. And really kind of stunned you get in, in a way to how many people we got in. And it was nice that we got to see some customers, some of my older customers I hadn't seen in years, back in the store. So we made uh, reconnected with a lot of folks there and uh, did a heck of a lot of business. Well, either Rick at uh, Bobby Wilkinson uh, is really good, or. We were extremely lucky because we got uh, Robert and Megan, and they just fit seamlessly into my staff. They just, everything gels like they could have been working for me for years. They came in, they're a hardworking crew. Um, they knew what they wanted to do, what they wanted to accomplish, and uh, we stayed focused on that goal all the way through, and I have been super, super pleased with the uh, staffing we got from Bobby Wilkinson. Well, we had, we had one goal in, uh, uh, that was set between uh, uh, Rick and I and uh, as kind of a minimum goal and uh, we've, we've hit that goal and uh, it looks like we're going to go over maybe, I don't know, between 25 and 30 percent. So I'm extremely pleased that we hit the goal and we're going to go, you know, quite a bit over. We're going to go what I, I might want to call a stretch goal or whatever. It's kind of uh, what we are kind of dreaming we could hope we could do and it looks like we're going to do it. You're going to get one chance. And you're going to get one chance only to do a going out of business sale. Uh, so you better get somebody who knows what they're doing. And I highly recommend Bobby Wilkinson on that. They've got a plan. They've got a strategic plan. They come in. They know what they're doing. They do it all the time. Uh, and it works. That's the only thing I say. It works. And if you want to get it done, you want to maximize your, your cash flow and your profits uh, during a going out of business sale, I think Bobby Wilkinson is the place to go.